Hey YouTube, it's Josh from Kings Hoops 273 and today I'm going to show you five easy ways to organize on a Mac. The first of which is a to-do list. It's very simple. I'll explain that soon. Number two is folders and sub-organization. The third is screenshots. I'll explain that a bit later. Fourth is a great application called Stickies. And finally we have address book and email. Now these topics can be used for organization with work, projects, school, fun. I'm a student so I mostly use my computer for school so that's definitely the focus of what I do but you can use these organizational techniques for uh, anything you're doing. Now let me show you the first item on our list to-do list. If you have iWork for Mac then you know about the application numbers which is basically the same thing as Microsoft Excel except for Mac. I'm gonna go ahead and open up numbers which as you can see is at the bottom of my screen on the deck, on the dock, excuse me. And as you can see, when you open the document, for a new document, it says template choose, and you get to choose what you want your document's template to be. So if you look at the top, it says checklist. I'm going to go ahead and double click on checklist. As you can see, a checklist comes up and it has a box for whether you did it or not yet, it has the date and it has a task description box. So if I type in today's date, 3-23-2011, and I type in, let's say, make a video about organization. And once I'm done with this video, I can just click this box right here, and as you can see, it is checked off. So you can keep this document and save it on your Mac as, an, as a numbers file so that you can keep track of your tasks and make sure you're doing them. You can also print this out. You can easily just click File Print or Command P, and it'll come out as just a normal task list with rows and columns in the table ex exactly like you see on the screen right now. So those are two ways you can print or do it on the computer to make a to-do list on your Mac. You can also just make one by hand in a new pages document by creating a table and then doing three columns, one for yes or no, have I done it, one column for the date, and one column for the task. That is the first item on our list. Second item on our list is folders with organization. I'm going to take you down to the bottom right hand of my screen now where you can see in my dock I have folders, one of which is called work. I'm on work right now with my cursor. I'm going to click on that and as you can see, uh, subfolders come out. I'm in a few classes right now, so as you can see there's a folder for my AP AB calculus work. There's a folder for AP biology. There's a folder for AP English and a folder for AP Latin. There's also a folder for college application materials, a folder for past school years, and under that folder you can see I have stuff from my first three years of high school, freshman, sophomore, and junior. Go back. And folder for TV and film, things I've done with that, screenplays, films I've made for YouTube. And I lastly have writing. And under writing I have things like speeches and resumes, uh, flyers and invitations, creative writing, things I've done for family and life as, you know, invitations, birthday cards. I'm sorry, mostly birthday cards and things that have to do with family and life. So I've really subcategorized what I'm doing into different folders so I can really keep track of things and find them quite quickly, actually. So let's say I wanted to find an AP English essay. I just go down to work right here. And then I click on AP English and I can find my essay so much more quickly than you know going into Finder and having to search through all those documents and find out where my essay is. Also, I'll show you how to set up this in the first place. If you go to File, New Folder, you can also just do Command-Shift-N if you're a keyboard savvy person. And as the name of the folder, I'm going to type, let's say, Homework. Let's say you're a student like me. And under homework, I'm going to open up homework by double clicking it, make a new folder called math, let's say, a new folder called English, and a new folder called science. And now I have three subfolders in this big umbrella homework folder. Let's say in English, uh, I want to do a folder for essays. <clears throat> and again, to change the name, you just double click or you single click the name and it'll have an edit option. So I have an essays folder. Let's say I want to have a homework write-ups folder. So now if I go back using the button I'm on right now, the back button, I'm on homework. 
Then within homework is English, math, and science. And then if I double click on English, I have the two folders, essays and homework write-ups. So now I've created three levels of organization right there. And if I want to drag the entire homework folders into my doc, you just do that. You take the homework folder and just drag it right in, and now it's in the doc. I can just click on homework, and as you can see, here are my folders in stacks right here. To take homework out of the doc, that folder that you make, the umbrella folder, you just drag it out. It disappears. <clears throat> so that's number two on my list. Number three is screenshots. Now, I don't know what you personally use your computer for, but there may be something... Maybe you're placing an order online and you want to take a screenshot of the tracking code so that you have it for later instead of writing it down. Or if you're like me and you're a student, maybe you're taking an online quiz with a CD from your textbook and you want to take a picture of a multiple choice question so that you can quiz yourself later or see what you got wrong. So in order to take a screenshot, you hold down Command Shift 3 that takes a picture of the entire screen. So as you can see, I'm just going to show you this. This is a picture of the entire screen right now. Now, if I do control shift 4, see how my mouse switches to crosshairs and I can actually envelop the only area that I want to take a screenshot of within that. So let's say I just want to take a screenshot of my dock. I'm going to go down and I'm going to make a rectangle around my dock. You click and drag and then you let go of the mouse and it's only taking a picture and it's on your desktop of what you wanted. So as you can see, that is just a picture of my doc. So this is a example. This folder right here says screenshots chapter 37 and that's an AP biology chapter. And what I did was while I was on the online quiz, I took pictures, screenshots of the multiple choice questions that I got wrong with the right answers so that I could see for next time when I'm studying what I did wrong. So as you can see, I'm going to flip through. It shows incorrect and correct multiple choice questions that I chose to take a screenshot of. And then they're all in a folder called Screenshots Chapter 37, so I can go and access that and say, all right, these are my weaknesses in Chapter 37. So that is number three, screenshots and organization. Number four is Stickies. Stickies is a great application. It comes standard on your Mac. And actually the only one that you can't do unless you buy an external app is the to-do list but you can also just write that in pages so you just need some sort of iWork or Microsoft Office to do the to-do list but everything else you can do just standard on your Mac without buying any anything else so stickies I'm gonna open up stickies it's on my dock you can also find it in your applications folder for searching for it if it's not on your dock but mine is so then I'm going to make a new note, new sticky. So you click new note up here. You can just do command N and it gives you this literally just a sticky note. You can increase the size by going to the bottom right corner and dragging that. You can change the color. Let's say I want to make it green and you can change the font. So if I want to show fonts, you know, let's say I want to write in this font and I want to say things to do this week as you can see, and I'll just blow that up for you. Make this a bigger font, size 40. Things to do this week. So like number one, take out the trash, two, feed dog, you know, things like that. And it really helps because you can organize your ideas and you can organize your to-do list. You can even make a to-do list on this. You don't even need word processing to do that. So let's say I make a new note and I can say essay ideas and I can say you know I have this one idea, second idea, third idea. Make a new note you know maybe change the color so I can distinguish between them make it purple and maybe I'll write about things I want to say in a speech next week. So I'll make sure I mention if I'm running for class president let's say I want to make sure I want to clean up the bathrooms so that's point one. And then I want to mention that I want to, let's say, give kids more of a say in the community. So I'll type that. So as you can see just from me doing this, that you can really do a lot just with stickies in terms of organization. And when you open stickies up again, if I quit it and open up again, it's right where you left it. And you can also 
minimize these stickies by double clicking on the top bar and they'll just be smaller so they take a very minimal room on your desktop and you can do a ton with them the last item on my list of to do's for this video my own list of to do's is address book and I'm gonna open up address book which is an app that comes standard on your Mac as you can see I've got my contacts here it says all contacts and then it has a few groups groups are very useful so let's say I want to add a new group called subscribers let's say I added all of my subscribers emails and then you can add see how you have the plus sign here that's for groups adding groups and then the plus sign here is for adding names let's say there's a man named John Smith who subscribes to my YouTube channel and you can add things such as the company they work for the work phone mobile phone work email names of their friends and assistants, work, AIM screen name, or MSN, or Yahoo, uh, their address for work, or home, anything custom you want to do. And that organizes both the people you know, but it also organizes your email. Because when you go into email, now you don't have to type John Smith's email. You can just start typing John Smith, and it'll come up as... John Smith and you can see his email right there. So it makes it a lot easier to send out emails, it makes it a lot faster and it also organizes just simply the people you know and their contact information. That's it for now. I've gone over five ways to organize on your Mac. I hope that you can each gain something from this video. Uh, please comment, subscribe, rate, tell me what you like, tell me what you want, what you want me to do next. Uh, anything you're having trouble with on your Mac. Uh, I can do anything you want me to do. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time here on...